President-elect Donald Trump met with NFL greats Jim Brown, Ray Lewis, as well as members of his National Diversity Coalition on Tuesday to discuss issues impacting African-American communities. Both players praised Mr. Trump after the meeting. Hall of Fame running back Jim Brown is here this morning, along with the head of Trump's National Diversity Coalition, Pastor Daryl Scott. Great to have both of you gentlemen here this Thank morning. You. So what was this meeting like? Tell, tell us what you talked to Mr. Trump about. It was a fantastic meeting. Uh, we talked about helping people, and we we're offering our services to do that, and particularly uh, African-American people that are poor and, you know, not uneducated to a certain degree. And uh, he was very amenable to the points that we made. What made you think he got it? Well, he's a very uh, dynamic personality. And he's also a very friendly, comedic type of individual. So when he said that he was in, that's what he meant. Because basically, he will say what's on his mind, and he will tell you the truth. So I felt very good uh, because of, he, of his reception of uh, what we brought to the table. So if someone criticized us for being with Mr. Trump, it's that he has the power of that office and when you meet him, he's a very personable person. So I was very happy and very proud to have had that opportunity and for, he to give us, for him to give us that opportunity to present things that I've worked on most of my life because I do work for the underprivileged people in this country. Pastor Scott, how do you explain to people why it was okay for then candidate President Trump to explain the African-American condition in this country as you can't walk out of your house, you go down the street, you get shot. That was very offensive uh, to a lot of members of the African-American community. How do you explain it to people? Well, it was offensive to some. It was realistic to others. And he was almost prophetic in his declaration because not too long after he said you can walk out into your community and get shot, we had Dwayne Wade's cousin uh, suffer a fatality. And so, you know, he's almost prophetic, and what he was saying was the potential exists. And when Donald Trump said, when President-elect Trump, when he said, what do you have to lose, what he was really saying was, give me a chance, give me a shot, I'll prove myself to you. And as part of his ongoing commitment to the African-American community, uh, that's what led to the meeting that we had with him on yesterday. He wants to be proactive, not reactive. And so why wait until another person is killed, another riot erupts, let's get on, let's get someone... Uh, let's, let's address this and tackle this problem now. Now, having said that, I've been very familiar with uh, Mr. Brown's AmeriCan program for years. And to me, it was a match made in heaven. I mean, why try to invent a wheel? Why try to invent a vehicle that can be beneficial to the African-American community when such a vehicle that has all the components that we need to uh, address a number of the problems that exist in the inner cities, it already exists. So let's, let's take this vehicle, present it to the Trump administration, He'll put some gas in it, get the, get the uh, country behind it, and, and get it going. And we can ride it, and it can be well, Jim, very, tell very us what it is. What does a Mary, a Mary can do, and what do you think is going to happen with it now? Well, I'll tell you, I've been very uh, happy with the company I've been keeping lately. <laughs> you mean today? <laughs> oh, you mean Pastor well, Scott. The last couple of days. <laughs> well, he's a, he's a very important person. But a Mary can deals with the underprivileged. And we stress self-determination. And we encourage people to take that first step. You know, not look to be delivered, but do everything that you can do for yourself. And we can help you because you are participating to your own advancement and your own success. And it uh, is a program that has been in existence now for almost 20 years. And it has been very successful because it teaches the responsibility of self-determination, which means that you are not looking to blame anyone for your plight. You're not playing the victim role, yeah. but you're getting up off your butt and you're applying yourself with what you have to apply to yourself, but then you can be open to what we can do for you. We, we do violent intervention on the greatest level because we deal with the people that live in those areas. Yeah. And we believe in education and particularly life management skills education because those fundamentals teach you how to solve problems, uh, make good decisions, set goals, all of those things that we take for granted. Yeah. But when underprivileged people don't apply that, right. you can't even help them.
Mm. On the point that you just made about you've been very pleased with the company that you've been keeping lately, yesterday you said something that got a lot of attention, and maybe you want to <laughs> clarify it. You said, I fell in love with him because he really talks about helping African-American black people, and that's why I'm here. People thought that you meant Donald Trump when you said, I fell in love with him. What were you talking about? I was talking about my partner. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking to the man who, who got us together, the man who has been the catalyst, the man who has represented and uh, he's comical, and he's very vivacious, you know. He, he's a character. But I fell in love with Trump a long time ago. <laughs> There's a lot of love going around. I fell in love with Trump. He'll take the love. Right. But uh, I, I think he's a great uh, personality. Got man. it. So the, the big concern you're going to have is to see what the president actually does. So what we'll do is uh, president-elect once president, uh, 37 days from now. So we will stay on the policies, and we'll keep the conversation going to make sure that the most important part happens, which He's is the actual actions word. on the ground where it matters. He's a man of his word. He's going to get behind this program, and this program is going to make it happen, and he's going to be uh, behind it to support it. But do you have any concerns about his cabinet? It's not, you know, the most diverse cabinet. In fact, it's the well, least diverse cabinet thus far. Does that worry you well, at all? Well, see, you are here doing your job, and your job is to do exactly what you're doing. I have to take action, and I always say that I'm not a quarterback. I was supposed to be a great football player, but I was a running back. So I don't know too much about quarterbacking. Maybe. So I cannot comment on every issue mm -hmm. in the situation and justify every thing that goes on. I know what we're going to bring to the table. We're not asking, not asking for favors. We're going to bring the business world from Youngstown, Ohio, yep. Bruce Zolan, mm -hmm. Phantom of Fireworks, Eddie DeBartolo, uh, you got Ray Lewis. Got it. You're happy with what yes. you've seen. But we're doing your, yes. to support what he can do. Understood. Uh, gentlemen, thanks, Jim Brown. Great to have you here. Pastor Scott, thank you. One thank clarification. You. you were the greatest football player at your position, and some argue it wasn't even your best sport. You may even have been better at lacrosse. Oh, so no, you're, you're a champion. Great. All right. Thank you. That part we got. <laughs> thank you very much, guys.